Hi everyone, it's Margaret, and I have a look that I've been getting a lot of requests for, and it's not anything that's um, typical of something that people would ask for, I think, because it's not uh, a celebrity that's in the big news all the time, but I love her look. She's very stylized, as Sarah Hyland from A Modern Family. And what I'm going to do is I actually looked at a bunch of her pictures and the one that I'm doing as far as this demo is inspired by her red carpet looks. Now she's really got a great, I love her great style, her natural flair of who she is and she's very confident in her true beauty. So I really want to emanate that with this look. And I think this is very universal. This look can really translate to all types of ethnicities and skin types and facial shapes and eye shapes and things like that. So, so what I did here is I put a really good silicone foundation that has a really nice coverage but also really keeps the skin looking really fresh and dewy. And I'm using my Beauty Blender to really just create a nice coverage and create that really really soft um, finish to the skin that's what I love about the Beauty Blender and then I'm actually conditioning the lips before I get into doing any of the eye work because I want the lips to be really supple by the time I do the the lipstick or the lip color on there and it's getting kinda cold and you know the winters uh, starting to affect the skin so I want to make sure that everyone has good conditioned skin before they do any kind of application so here I'm putting like a very pearlized highlighting powder underneath the brow bone and with this I'm using a very rounded fluffy brush that softens the the highlighted hi highlighted powder but not overpower it and I'm using actually a crayon shadow and with this crayon shadow it's really really soft and it goes on it glides on very well and it's really easy to blend and this is a really great look if you want a smolder smoldering kind of smoky eye look but not too heavy definitely try the crayon and it's really easy to blend and see how I'm taking my brush now and I'm just blending it with my brush just over the edges don't go on the on the full eye but just around the edges so you want a soft kind of textured look on the edge kind of gradiate the the blending into the highlighting powder that I put on and then I'm also using my finger to kind of give it a little bit more extra blending fingers are great tools as well so don't ever underestimate your fingers um, now I'm using a black 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 crayon pencil and this is a very soft pencil, but it has a really strong payout. And I'm just going right on the lash line. Now, I don't want like a really intense, like obvious liner. I just want it to rim the eye line. And so I'm using that just kind of around the eyes. So now I'm taking a powder, uh, dark powder brow, bo uh, brow, sh brow shadow. And what I'm doing that with my shadow brush is just kind of going into her natural brows. She's got an amazing set of eyebrows and you really don't need to do too much with this other than just fill it in a little bit more when you have eyebrows like this. But if you need to definitely draw in your eyebrows, definitely try your powder, uh, a dark hard pressed powder because that really looks really natural to me. So here I'm going to add just a simple little hit of rosy color blush and I'm making her make like a fish and I'm going right along the ledge of her cheekbones and just starting right at the apples of her cheekbones and see how this has a pinky rose touch to it now I'm gonna blend it in so it's not so so heavy but I like that really kind of like true blushy look now this has a little bit of a, a soft golden highlighted um, shimmer in it which really picks up the line of the ledge which is really pretty now I'm taking my blending br uh, my beauty blender and I'm just gonna soften that the harshness of the pink now We've been doing so much like contour colors, and I think it's time to get some little color back into the cheek. So that's why I did that. Now I, what I did was I got a, a darker crayon uh, shadow, and I just went right on the middle 
uh, area of the lid, not in the crease, but just on the middle area, and just kind of scooped it out a little bit. I'm taking my brush just to add a little bit more gradation, not over the black, just right above the black, and that gives it a nice gradation to the to the shadow. And it's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want that intensity. And now I'm putting in black, black, black mascara. And this just definitely gives it that nice finished look. And it's really a great finishing touch when you use something like black mascara. If you want to really keep the, the look overall very soft, the black mascara really gives everything a nice accompaniment to the eyes. It really kind of finishes it off really well. And when you have great lashes, definitely show them off. If you don't have lashes, you can also put individual lashes, um, and especially for this kind of look. I don't think strip lashes really... I, I, I really want ev everything to look kind of natural at the same time, even though this is still more of a, a red carpet glam look. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking like an earth tone nude. And this has a little bit more of a deeper tone to it, but it's still very nude and it's very pretty. And it basically, it, it complements the brown shadow and as well the rosy cheeks. And it kind of blends, every pulls everything together. So I'm using like a, a pigmented lip gloss. I didn't want to go with a super dark lipstick. So it kind of has that sheerness to it, which really makes it nice. So definitely, you know, try this out. Practice the looks. If you like my techniques and you want to take some in-person classes, you can go to www.mkcbeautyacademy.com. I also have a very comprehensive online training. And you can also do a blended training. And definitely, I will constantly post new tutorials online on the YouTube channel so definitely become a subscriber if you're not and definitely practice that's the key thing here I'm using my blending brush just to give it a final finish and I love my brush because this is my signature brush and it just works beautifully to just blend everything together set everything and just make everything look so flawless and here's the look Thank you so much for watching. Definitely practice. Stay tuned for more t videos coming up. And I will definitely see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.